Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's uh, October 22nd, 2017, and I'm inspired to do this video after watching Barry Scarborough's video this morning where he saw a vision of a beautiful bunch of white flowers. And it just made me think of some uh, flash visions I had almost a year ago exactly. And I thought it might just be a really good encouragement to some brothers and sisters who have been through similar things to myself. Um, I need to share just a little bit of history so that you understand the context of the visions and why the Lord gave them to me. I'd been through a marriage breakup. I'd been a Christian for about 30 years and I'd really loved the Lord. I'd experienced the gifts of the Holy Spirit in my life. and um, But then sadly, after a marriage of 24 years, which broke up, I fell away. I just lost hope. I, I prayed and prayed that the Lord would save my marriage and everything had fallen apart. And um, I guess my faith was just sh shaken to the core. And during that time of about four or five years, I did things that I really regretted. I felt like I'd hurt the Holy Spirit, that I'd grieved him. And I really doubted whether the Lord would ever accept me back in his family. Anyway, uh, after a period of time, I remarried, and I remarried a beautiful Christian man, and slowly my heart began to heal. And uh, I didn't uh, get it back into a huge amount of Bible study or a huge amount of prayer, but just gradually I would speak to the Lord from my spirit, and now and again I would read some scripture, but I had so much healing to be done. Um, however... The Lord is gracious and he's so forgiving and gradually my heart began to heal. I cried many, many tears and um, I believe, I began to believe that there was hope, but I always had that nagging doubt in the back of my mind, would he accept me back into his family? Would I be accepted as part of the Bride of Christ? Would I go in the rapture when he came to get his family? And um, then one day I was sitting on the couch. This is October 2016. I had my head back on the couch. I don't think I was actually really even praying, but possibly just wondering about whether I would be accepted into his uh, bridal party. <laughs> and um, I had a flash vision, and it was of a beautiful posy, similar to this, but it was white roses. And out of the posy came a white dove, and it flew off. And I think, uh, to me, he was saying, don't worry, you are my bride. And uh, you will fly one day with me. Um, uh, and I think that was pertaining to the rapture. But I'd be interested in anybody, else, anybody else's um, interpretation of that vision. Um, and then secondly, um, in February of 2017, that's this year, I had another vision, and this time... I was sleeping, but it was a flash vision in my dream. And this time it was of an embossed wedding invitation. And it was all white, and in the center of the invitation was a beautiful heart. And the heart was embossed all around with beautiful white flowers. And then the outside of the card was also embossed all around the border with beautiful white flowers. And once again, I think the Lord was just saying, you're going to be part of that wedding party. There is a place setting for you. Hallelujah. And so the reason I'm doing this video is just please don't be discouraged. If you feel that you've done wrongs, um, that you've hurt the Lord, that you've grieved his spirit, don't believe that you won't be accepted back. Think of the story where um, the prodigal son was accepted back with open arms. I think we do have some responsibilities. I had to go to somebody and I had to confess my sins and ask forgiveness. I had to ask forgiveness of the Lord. Sorry for that interruption. I, I just got interrupted by somebody. Um, but I want to continue. Um, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure where I left off. But I, I just wanted to bring some scripture uh, to end this. And that's... Um, just a reminder that uh, 
if we purify ourselves from everything that is unclean, as in 2 Corinthians 7, 1, then we um, will be... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really distracted now. Um, but uh, I just wanted to encourage you, as I said, uh, that God's grace is huge. And if we confess our sins to one another, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He is just waiting for us to turn to him. And out of love for him, we will try and keep ourselves clean. We will try our best to do what he commands. But we are human and we will make mistakes. And the pressures of life can be so great at times that we can just fall apart. But he understands. So just seek him. If you've got a heart that is repentant and you love him, he is full of grace and he will forgive your sins. I'm doing, rather than reading scripture, I'll just give you a few scriptures to look up if you'd like to. So the first one is 2 Corinthians 7, 1 that I just mentioned. John 14, 21. Um, Ephesians 2, 18. And 1 John 1, 9. But that is just a few of the many, many scriptures that are there for us. For people that are hurting, that are feel like they've disappointed the Lord. Um, there are so many that talk about his grace. And that's what the Christian um, faith is all about, isn't it? It's about grace. So um, I just leave you with this encouragement. And um, I pray for you. If you've been through struggles like myself, I pray that you will be released and that your heart will dance and soar like mine now to know that you are forgiven. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.